name is Sam, and the name of my business is Sam and Curry. Then Sam and Curry, for now or later, no worry, ain't nothing greater than Sam and Curry. Ain't nothing greater than Sam and Curry. I know you heard me, I know you heard me. The vibe is real. Um, I love Indian food. I am Indian and growing up in London uh, there are a lot of uh, people that uh, would open restaurants that, that had East African Indian food and I thought you know let me combine my traditional Gujarati background with that East African Indian food and make all the things that I like. I had uh, previously worked for the CEO of Chipotle and so I thought that this would work as an ideal format in the Chipotle format. Um, you know, I would go to restaurants, uh, Indian restaurants, and I would find that I would want a naan, some curry, some rice, some chutneys, and yet everything I wanted they would want me to buy a whole bowl of, which I couldn't eat as a single person. And uh, they would nickel and dime me. And so it would be $4 for the yogurt, $3 for the chutney, and, and by the time I'm done it was like $25 just to eat a basic meal. And so I thought, you know, I can make the food better than they make it and I don't want to nickel and dime people and so I want them to have the opportunity to have what they want how they want it so you want salad you have salad you want chana you have chana you want half chana half aloo you have half fat yeah yeah and then every time you want something we are so used to in our culture being told no that's extra or being charged for it in a ridiculous way and so again we, we kind of came up with the tag you know, this is a place where extra is not extra. And they could come in and think, oh, how uh, un-Indian this is, if you like, or non-Indian, right? And um, the tastes of everything, w which are my family's recipes, um, would leave them uh, thinking, wow, I really do love this food. And a lot of it is comfort food. So um, people that come here and spend their $10 leave thinking, oh my God, uh, I just got a cacophony of flavors in my mouth. And when they leave, they're like, that was really fun. So you can choose a bowl, all right? And then we have amazing uh, kichdi, if you're from India, you know, that spicy vegetable rice. And then we have a cilantro rice too, all right? And then you can have chana with it, or aloo, or spicy fajita. And then we have paneer marinated in tandoori spice, and chicken tikka. We have an amazing lamb curry, shrimp curry, and sag. And with the paneer and the chicken, people usually have their tikka masala sauce to make it like a butter chicken or a butter uh, paneer. And then on this side, you can choose any of the salsas that you want. We have kachumba with carrot or with onion. Then we have onions and jalapenos for all our Indian followers. And we have yogurt, areta, and sweet spicy tamarind, cilantro, red chili, uh, a spicy corn. We have sev and lettuce. So. You've got everything you could ever dream of in making your Indian meal taste really fantastic. You know, I've had a varied career. Uh, I was a, a bond trader in my very first career for uh, JP Morgan, uh, making a very high living and, uh, you know, loving life. And then I married um, a gal from Monterey, California, and she wanted to move back to California. And so that restricted uh, the career that I was already in. But she loved um, a company called The Body Shop which sells skin and hacker and I knew the owners so they let us open um, franchises in the California market before they bought us out to use our um, infrastructure for the growth of the market here in California and so I think that in, in getting to this point um, my father was a, a doctor but he, his passion was cooking my mother was a teacher and her passion was cooking so there was a lot of passion of cooking in the family and um, when I was thinking about after we sold the body shop what I would like to do I thought I'll learn the food business hence I became a franchisee at McDonald's and then at McDonald's um, referred me to Chipotle and I worked for the CEO of Chipotle in helping open the European market and after I did that I felt that okay um, now let's put this into play and so I opened the successful um, expansion plan for Ikes which had one store at that stage and took it to 60 stores in eight years and so at that point I thought you know now it's at a size that is not really um, exciting for me being an entrepreneur and wanting to build things and I had uh, thought about doing this for 10 years but that had taken up time and so I thought okay you know what this Chipotle went out of business here and so I thought, here's a perfect opportunity. Um, so the interior 
and why I chose to do the interior the way I did uh, was because I think Indians in general are very serious people so we wanted to make it empowering for all, all the people and we wanted to make a bit of fun at our own culture and uh, all the elements of the posters are things that uh, grandparents, parents or people will, will have encountered in the traditional Indian culture and we've just tried to turn it a little upside down to make some fun of it. Hey, my name is Sam from Sam and Curry and I'd like to invite any of you to come and uh, eat in our store and I can guarantee you that it would be one of the best Indian meals that you'd have had. And if you disagree with me, well, I'm happy to give you your money back. I can't give you more than that. We hope you enjoyed Sam's story. Stay tuned for more from Locals Insight. Follow and subscribe.